North America is experiencing cold weather like no other time in its history. Almost everywhere you turn, low record temperatures are being smashed. People are not only cold, but they're scared. This is so sudden, so unpredictable. From Maine to New York, people are staying indoors, afraid to go out in the sub-zero weather. Well, how cold is it? This news story will give you a good idea. Forget the temperature readings and the weather reports and the videos of hot water freezing midair. This story gives us real perspective of just how cold it is outside. The bitterly cold temperatures were too much for an inmate who escaped to Lexington Prison. 42-year-old Robert Vick walked away Sunday night from the Blackburn Correctional Complex. Walked away wearing just khaki pants, a shirt, and a jacket, according to WKYT. Vick had escaped prison, but he didn't last long because it was so cold. Local outlets are reporting Vick walked into a motel at around 4.30 p.m. Monday and asked an employee there to call the police on him. He was taken to a hospital, then returned to prison. So he lasted less than a day, and Monday, the city of Lexington did face a wind chill of 20 below zero. A guest at the motel told WLEX Vic was shivering and appeared to have frostbite. She said she gave him a sandwich and, what else, hot chocolate, not realizing he was a fugitive. Police say Vic spent Sunday night in an abandoned farmhouse. According to CBS, Vic is serving time in maximum security, six years for burglary and five for criminal possession of a forged instrument. For Newsy, I'm Lauren. My name is Brent Winfield, and I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, and this is the Advent Bible. In Toronto, Ontario, where I live, a new phrase is being introduced into our vocabulary. It's frost quakes. It's a series of loud booms that have residents running for cover. Indeed, as temperatures drop overnight to around minus 50, hundreds of people are being startled by hearing large booms, causing them to think their homes are being broken into or gunshots being fired. In fact, they're merely hearing the after effects of the frost quakes or chrysoism which are more commonly found in the glacier in the polar regions. Friend, this phenomenon is caused when rain and ice seep down into the soil and then freeze when the temperature drops. However, the atheist scientists are blaming it on something called a polar vortex. Climate change skeptics are pointing to the record cold as evidence that the globe isn't warming. Global reinsurer Munich RE claimed that the natural disaster losses in 2011 totaled 310 billion. And according to the National Oceanographic and, and Atmospheric Administration, or the NOAA, 2011 made new weather, weather records. The NOWA announced that there are 12 different weather disasters that each cost more than $1 billion at the time of the event. The NWOA claimed that the U.S. has sustained 134 weather disasters since 1980, each exceeding $1 billion. So using its data, it has been noted that during the 1980s, the U.S. averaged $1 billion disaster per year, increasing to 3.8 per year in the 1990s and 4.8 in the next decade. November 2013 will be remembered for apocalyptic weather across the globe. Super Typhoon Haiyan, remember that? Hit the eastern Philippines with maximum sustained winds of 195 miles gusts to 235 miles per hour. Biggest ever recorded. Powerful tornadoes carved the path of destruction across the U.S. Midwest with Washington being hit by winds up to 200 miles per hour. In the Italian island of Sardinia, Cyclone Cleopatra dumped nearly 50 centimeters of rain in just 24 hours, half the amount it normally receives in a year. Now, friend, low temperatures are being recorded in many states of the U.S. But what am I saying? I'm simply saying that when you look at the weather pattern over the last decade or more, you'll see a consistent 
pattern emerging. Friend, I'm also saying that something unprecedented is happening. That, my friend, is the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christ is about to rise up and throw off his priestly garments and don the regal robe of King of Kings and Lord of Lords. My advice to you is to get ready. Get ready. Get ready for your redemption draw at night. What is going on, you ask? The short answer is, Christ is coming. God has said in Bible prophecy that natural disasters would grow in frequency and intensity as the end of the age approaches to shake people out of their complacency and lead them to seek Him. My prayer for you, dear friend, is that you earnestly seek Jesus Christ while there is still time. And always remember that God loves you. Yes, he really, really does love you.